Welcome to Dada News. I'm Felicia. The latest Gallup poll shows that only 34% of the U.S. public believes the mass media report news accurately and fairly. The exact figure has lost share and just two percentage points higher than the historical low during the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Deliberately manipulated political propaganda can often steer public sentiment rapidly during critical events. In 1990, Nerea, a 15-year-old Kuwaiti girl, gave fake testimony before the U.S. Congress, claiming that Iraqi troops had committed atrocities in Kuwait. The U.S. media heavily publicized this Nerea testimony, and the U.S. government, with overwhelming public support, was involved in the first Gulf War. By the time Nerea was revealed to be the daughter of the then ambassador to Kuwait. And the so-called testimony was a fabrication. Following this, Nerea's testimony was become a classic example of mob atrocity propaganda. In order to capture publicity, the Western media industry have developed a culture of gotcha journalism. Many Western journalists use the tactic to manipulate words and set up traps. Some even forcefully interrupt their interviewees' speeches and repeatedly ask questions to provoke them until they catch the gas slip of the tongue and use it as a news footage. Here are a few thought-provoking examples. In 2019, the world was shocked by the Ask Laurie death in the UK. CNN claimed that 39 Chinese people were killed in a British lorry. Despite the lack of evidence implying that Chinese citizens left China in such a hazardous way, the British police later confirmed that the 39 people killed in the accident were all Vietnamese. But CNN turned a blind eye to the truth and did not follow up on the report. In February, a video titled "A Ukrainian Father Says Goodbye to His Daughter in Tears Before Going to the Battlefield" went viral in Western media and social networks. However, the father in the video was not fighting with the Russian army. He was a poor Russian from the eastern part of Ukraine who was going to transport his daughter to Russia. The Western media, however, distorted the whole process to accommodate the propaganda. In March, CBS Face the Nation programs interviewed Chinese Ambassador Qin Gang to invite him mainly to explain China's positions on the Ukraine issue. In the short nine-minute interview, the host interrupted the team twenty-three times in a row. In the United States, political division has intensified in recent years, and fake news has become widespread. Many media outlets brag about their independence, but they have never been free of capital. In recent years, many mainstream Western media outlets have scrambled to reveal exclusive news about countries such as China or Russia. Many of these reports have been eventually discredited. Some analysts suggest that U.S. politicians deliberately provide exclusive information to the media. The media has also been propagating this fake news report without taking into account the long-term harm they could cause to the U.S. foreign policy and U.S. interests.